All right, good morning, everybody. Nozomi seems to be worried about me. Oh, that's too bad for her. I'm busy. Oh? Father, I promise to avenge you. Your old son. Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. Oh, here we go. Let's give it all we got, eh? This is what I've been waiting for, guys. Bring it, Fook. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Double blow. Did you like that? That feel good? That was a good one. Hey, don't use that move. Why not? Sorry. Whoa, what's that move? That's something you don't know. That's the Fuku-san I know. Because I'm out there learning shit while you're in here getting soft. I'm trying to do the arm break fire right now, guys. Gotta train the throw moves. How's that? I wonder if we're not allowed to do that because it would, like, break his arm. There it was. Yeah. Combo. The throw moves fail so much. I don't, I'm not sure why right now. Honestly, he's not a bad fighter. <laughs> he's annoying as shit, but he can hold his own. Whoa, that was cool. Ah, want to break his arm again. Ooh. Why do the throws whoa. keep failing against him? This is when you're supposed to train them, damn it! Nice try. Ooh, that was a good counter. this there we go that was a good one it's been a while since we practiced together I feel much better now <laughs> have you found something I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel are they the same ones who, who killed Hazuki sensei I don't know yet you're not thinking of going after them alone are you you go up against those killers it's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you. Please think it over. My mind is made up. I must go. Real son. It's called being a man, Fuxan. You wouldn't understand. Ine san, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Dio san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki Sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Do son. Please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter to my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese, but why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. <laughs> so much for that. And because 
I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Ine-san. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, Dio-san. I promise to kill every last one of them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. It's so obvious Ryo has no intention of keeping that promise at all. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, so you guys uh, may remember in the very first day of this game, back in the intro, Ine-san uh, got that letter in the mail and has finally decided to actually make us privy to it, but it's in Chinese, so we're not sure what to do with it just yet. But you know what? We have another clue to go off of. So, the threads are starting to pop up. Thank you, ine -san. And now that we've actually sparred with Fuxan, I think we can do that every morning, at least for a while. It's another crap-ass day out here. Ryo-san! What were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it from the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! If only we had investigated Chinese people earlier in this game. <laughs> So let's see what happens. I don't think we can spar with him again today, but I just want to see what he says if we come talk to him. Probably gonna be a whiny little bitch. Rio, no. Rio, son, spar one round with me. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll take you on. Give me all you got. This time will be different. Let's go. On guard. What's wrong, Fukusan? Oh, that's the Fukusan I know. Kick it close to him. There, arm break. It was a bad camera angle, but I did it. <laughs> How's that? How you like the trample kick? Asa. Triple kick! Triple kick! Triple kick! <laughs> it's really good for keeping people away. I love it. That was a good one. Whoa, whoa! Oh, he blocked the crawl cyclone? Unbelievable! Whoa. What's that move? Oh! Oh, that was right to the face. Did you guys see that? And he blocks a lot of stuff, though. I'll give him that. How about this? Oh, arm break fire! Level that shit up! That's it for today. Thanks, Fuku-san. Thanks very much. That's cool. I honestly didn't expect to be able to spar with him again. But I like that. The more practice, the better, guys. All right, let's get out of here. We got a three o'clock appointment. We got to find out who can read this damn letter. We got a lot of things to do today. Ine-san gave me a letter written in Chinese. Listen to this pimp-ass music. You just know some shit's gonna go down today, guys. You know it. Things are a-brewing. Alright. Time for the daily ritualistic feeding of the kitten. Are you cold? Mimi, you okay? 
<laughs> I bet you remember me, don't you? I'm surprised that they're actually using her name. I don't remember them doing that all that often. This game is making a liar out of me. Memories are fallible, unfortunately. Here, eat it. It's tasty. Look, Dil. She must like it. Yeah, she'll recover faster if she eats. You're right. Thanks, Dil. I guess when I said that, I was thinking specifically of, like, dialogue and, and cutscenes. Not ambient dialogue, like when you just pet her and call out to her and stuff. That stuff is easy to fake or record multiple takes, you know? But, like, the hard-coded dialogue in the cutscenes, that doesn't change. <laughs> eh? What's wrong? A man with sunglasses took my soccer ball. He said he'd give it back if I brought it to him. What? Where is he? At the construction site. I'll handle this. You. I knew you couldn't resist, boy. What? Remember the tattoo parlor? Payback time. Here, catch. Go home. What? What? Remember that thing that happened yesterday? Payback time. Ooh, and there's a lot of you guys. <laughs> okay. I gotta back up, back up. And by that I mean get punched back. Three with one kick. That's what that was. Uh, that's enough. Huh? <laughs> Damn! Don't think you can get away with this. Are you okay? Chase it. Thank you. Shishu. Hey, are you Chinese? Yes. My name's Xiao Go. What's your name? Ryo. Ryo Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Shay Shay, Ryo san. Hey kid, do you know how to read letters? Because I could. I could deal with that. Okay. Well, so much for our meeting with Charlie. He just decided to ambush us. Ine-san gave me a letter written in Chinese, helped out a Chinese boy named Gao Wen. This letter's my only lead now. I'm sure it will reveal the next step, but who could read this letter for me? Hmm. Okay. Well, since the Charlie thing's a dead end, we're gonna have to pursue that avenue, guys. I like how all these people were just hanging out here while all that shit was going down. And I love Charlie's scream of pain when we kick that soccer ball into his face. He sounds like such a doofus, guys. Eh, eh, eh. What an idiot. That guy sucks. Oh boy. Let's buy a Sega capsule toy. I love these. I should buy one. I'll take a Sonic, please. Or, oh. <laughs> or a heavy weight. <laughs> what is that, a 16 pound weight? Heavy bomb too. The heaviest of the bombs. Maybe I should get another. No, thank you. Nah, not today. Not exactly what I'd call a fantastic get. All right, we're gonna go this way into Dobuita. Start shaking down these Chinese folks again. Actually, if my memory serves me, is this gonna happen again? No, he's not here. Okay, so I kind of fibbed to you guys before. Um, occasionally, when you come down here, right after that event and this point in the game, you'll find Wang here again, and he'll be, you know, trying to shake you down for a soda. And if you buy him a soda this time, he will actually tell you where you can get the letter translated. But, that's 
kind of the only good thing he ever does. And he doesn't even really do it himself. He just tells you, like, how to do it. And it's not worth paying for a soda for him. Because that guy sucks. And there are other ways to do it. So even if that had popped up, I wouldn't have done it. Let's talk to Nozomi. Nozomi? Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Do you know how to read Chinese? Nozomi. Ryo, take care of yourself. Sure. Alright. Well, let's just go straight to the Chinese people that we know then. Where we kind of started off before was with uh, Tao-san right here. Aji Ichi. What up, Tao? Tao-san, have you got a minute? Yes? What is it? I was wondering whether you could translate this letter for me. Oh no, there are a lot of old kanji characters. And it's written in an unusual way. What does it say? I'm sorry. I can't read it. Oh, really? Right? Oh, yeah, really. But this kind of paper is used for ceremonial purposes in Chinese calligraphy. Ceremonial purposes? Tao-san, what ceremonial purposes? It's the top quality grade of paper. It's used for fine calligraphy. It's also used for ceremonial cooking. To wrap around sea bass, it's very famous. But you can't read it? No, we can't. Oh, but Guangxi might be able to. Huh? Ask Guangxi. He's out delivering on the shopping street. He's good with kanji characters. I got it. I'll try him. Oh, they're talking about Wang. Guangji is like his first name, I think, and then Wang's like his last name. But, okay, so maybe that's why we didn't get that cutscene. Now if I run back here, I'm gonna do this just so I can deny him. Yeah, there he is. Look at this. Look at this asshole. Hmm. Hi. How's it going? What's wrong? I'm so thirsty. I want a drink, but I don't have any change. Man, that's really too bad. Sorry, but I don't have enough money. Oh, well, by the way, Yes. <laughs> Can you translate this letter for me? Oh. These kanji are weird. I can't read them. Really? I'm sorry. It's okay. I've got to go. Got things to do. Yes. Please give my regards to the Tao-san. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you. What a douche. Thanks again. What a complete douche! He knows who could read the letter, guys, but he won't tell us. All because we won't buy him a frickin' soda. Can anyone else read Chinese? Ask around. Well, we could always shake down the other three Blades members that we know about. Actually, uh... Pop back up here to the barber shop. I don't know if these dudes in here can actually read Chinese, but... We can ask them. Might have to go talk to the dad. Lusan. Excuse me. Hello, Ryo. Would you read this letter for me? I think it's in Chinese. Uh... Hmm? What does it say? I'm sorry. I can't read it at all. There are so many strange characters, you know? I see. Well, fuck me. Alright. Thanks for trying, I guess. And no, I don't want a haircut, because I have the hair of a Saiyan. It never changes. It never grows longer. It just is what it is. Guys, if I can let you in on like a really embarrassing secret. Around the same time I was playing this game for the first time, I was also really big into Dragon Ball Z. And I used to just kind of have this little fancy where, like, if I trained hard enough with Ryo and I got all my moves maxed out and I did really good, 
there'd be like a secret cutscene where he just went Super Saiyan. <laughs> where his hair just turned golden yellow and spiked up and he got this awesome yellow aura around him and I could just go around beating everybody's ass because I had the ultimate power. Ah, <sighs> it never happened though. Excuse me, what can I get for you, Ryo? Do you have time now, Hattori-san? Sure, what is it? I'm looking for someone who can read Chinese. What? Again? I thought you went to the Ajiichi. I did, but nobody could read it. I see. Well, sorry, but I can't think of anyone else. I see. That was actually not the guy I was thinking of. Let me... Oh, yeah, I was thinking of Itoi-san, who is down this way, the patches guy. He hangs out down here. Hello, Tom. Tom. Hi, Ryo. Do you know anyone who can read Chinese? Are you searching for Chinese people again? <laughs> yeah. I don't have any Chinese friends. Really? It's a running theme with you, man. What is your problem? Itoi-san. Yes. Do you know anyone who reads Chinese? Chinese? I forgot my Chinese, you know. Ni hao, shei shei. Then there's ni hao. <laughs> Do you know anyone who could read a letter in Chinese? Hmm, can't say as I do. Well, thanks for nothing, I suppose. Oh, guys. Hello. I was just about to say, who are we going to get to read this letter? <laughs> Hi, Go Wen. Come on, let's play. Next time, okay? I'm kind of busy now. By the way, Gowen, you're Chinese, aren't you? Yup. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? <laughs> Her name is Sha Shoui. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? What shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called... Roshia. You mean Roshia China Shop, right? Right. It has a white door. I'll go see her. Thanks. Ah, finally a lead. We might be able to get somebody who can actually do this thing for us, guys. And uh, that avenue there, talking to Galwen, is always open to you no matter what. So that's the way I usually go to get this thing taken care of. Because Wang can go suck a dick. You can go suck a Wang, you might say. And I'll tell you guys up front, this game is like a really unique blend of Japanese and Chinese culture. There's a lot of, you know, characters from uh, both nationalities. There's a lot of names. And I'm, I'm decent with the Japanese names. I'm hopeless with the Chinese names. So I'll try my best to pronounce them, <laughs> but it's, it's going to come out wrong. And I believe this would be the shop in question. Yes, it is. Let's get in here. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. <laughs> he was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> that was like three hours ago. Don't worry about so, it. So, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay. Reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. 
Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Zhu Yuan Da. Zhu Yong Da. Master Chen. Oh, there's something written on the back too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth, Comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes, zero four six eight six one five six four. Zero four six eight six one five six four. Right? Huh? I've got it. Thank you very much. That is interesting, guys. Big info dump there. So we got this phone number. Call the number. Use the phone at. I don't know why they didn't put it there in that entry. Uh. There it is. Six one five six four. So I'm like ninety nine percent certain that there used to be another character on there, or an another number rather, and it was seven. Six one five six four seven. But again, they just chopped off the last number. And I'm pretty sure they actually just cut that out of the dialogue too. Just a sneaky little edit in there to just be like, no, don't use that number. Just this one here. <laughs> just these five numbers, not the last one. So we should probably call that number guys. And uh, I gotta tell you, there is a couple different ways this can play out here. There's uh, I think three different phones to use in this game. One of which is right here. We could use this phone, but A, it's a pay phone, so it costs money. And B, I'm pretty sure we can get a cutscene if we go back to the house and do it this way. So we're going to do that. I don't remember, like, how we trigger it. Maybe it'll just happen if we step inside. But man, sounds like somebody knew that Landy was coming for our dad told us to seek the aid of Master Chen, but obviously the letter got here a little too late, huh? Yep, here we go. Ryo san Yeah, it's me. What was that letter about? Apparently this. Those who pursue the mirror, Chu Yonda. So... The letter is connected to Sensei's death. I'm going to find out. Will you search for that Master Chen? That's all I can do. If you find out, let me know. I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. I don't know why they brought me back into my room. That was really not what I was intending to do here. But okay. Let's dial that number, guys. And remember the Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons, Mother's Earth comrades, because it, it's kind of weird. That sounds a little like a password, wouldn't you say? Isn't that weird? Six, one, five, six, and then just four. Oh, I might have to dial the area code with this too. I'm not sure. Hello? Mother's Earth. Nope, we're good. Mother's Earth was comrades. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. That's warehouse number eight. Huh. 
Warehouse number eight, you say? I need to locate warehouse number eight. Father's heaven is a password. Rio knows. Of course he knows. He just did it. So, guys, this was the part in this game when I originally played it way back in the day that really kind of made me start falling in love with this game. It was when I sort of realized, like, what the game was about, the way it worked, and when it started feeling very, very real to me. And I'll explain why in a second. Fuxan. What? It's about the letter. Did you find out anything? This person? Chin. It looks like he's at some warehouse called number eight. Warehouse number eight? Where's that? I don't know. Anyhow, I've got no choice but to go and find this warehouse number eight. But that's got to be impossible. How can you find warehouse number eight? Well, it's the only lead I have. Well, if it's all you have... Fuxan, about warehouse number eight, if you hear any rumors or anything, be sure to tell me about them. Of course I will. Alright, let's go back out into town and see if anybody else knows about this crap. So... Consider this, guys. It's 1986. You have a phone number. You have an area code. You're trying to find this place. But you don't have the internet. And you don't know anything about where it actually is. How do you figure this out? Who's this kid messing with my cat up here? Who are you? Identify yourself. Hi. Hi, Leo. How's the kitten? She's a lot better. And I think she knows who I am now. Well, that's probably because you take good care of her. Do you really think so? No. Yeah, I do. I think I'll buy something for her. They'll have something for her to eat at the capsule toy store, right? You mean the Abe store? Yeah, I suppose so. Next time I go, I'll pick up something. Good idea. Well, that'll be a nice change of pace. One of you other slackers will actually do something for the cat instead of making me spend all my hard-earned money on it. I don't believe you. I don't think you'll actually do it. This is the first time I've ever seen you near this cat. You're just a hanger-on. That's all you are. Ugh. Hey, what up, chatterbox ladies? Mishima-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. Would you know where a warehouse number eight is? Warehouse number eight? I'm afraid I don't. Is that so? Hmm. That is too bad. So, <laughs> this can be sort of a difficult part of this game, honestly, if you don't actually know how to solve it. I remember running around for a long time just trying to figure out how I was supposed to figure out where the hell this place was. And I think eventually you can talk to somebody who will steer you in the right direction. There's actually two different ways to get by this part. But let me see if I can figure out who to talk to. Let's try Nozomi and Tom. They're kind of like the first places to start. Hey, look, it's my buddies. Ichiro. Hey, bro. Do you know of a warehouse number eight? Sure don't. What's at the warehouse? Uh, nothing. Come on, don't be hiding stuff. Well, tell me how to live my life. Know anyone who might know about a warehouse number eight? Hmm, let me think a bit. Sorry, no one I can think of. I see. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, then you're useless. What were you doing? Just thinking. Wondering what's for dinner. Wanna grab a bite with me? Not now. Maybe next time. Oh man, you're no fun. Sorry. See ya. <laughs> yeah, later. <laughs> you are quite literally sitting at the Funny Bear Burger Shop. That is what is for dinner, sir. I guess I can't talk to this guy. All right, fuck him. Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Yeah. Oh, no. I changed my mind. <laughs> what? You don't trust me? I'm sorry. So talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? Yeah. Any idea where it is? Don't you have any clues? Just a letter and a phone number. Why don't you try getting the address from the letter and the phone number? Oh, yeah. Pretty helpful, aren't I? Um, I gotta go. 
right? So she tells us, can I get the address from the phone number? But you're still kind of like, but well, like, how exactly? Nozomi. Ryo, good luck. Yeah. And I think you would like especially have trouble with this part if you're, you know, a younger person from a newer generation where these things don't really exist anymore. Let's just try talking to Tom. Um, I'm not doing a good job of being very coy about this. Tom is... Oh, oh my god, Tom's a ghost. Somebody killed Tom. Jesus Christ, guys. Hey. Hi! You're looking good. Hey, Rio, how about a dog? No, thanks. Maybe next time. Right. <laughs> Tom is not helpful. So, the answer to this, guys, is looking for it in a phone book. <laughs> you use the area code to look up, like, the district that this phone number is in by the area code. And it was the kind of thing where, like... I never would have thought to do that because this is a video game and I was trying every different video gaming solution I could think of just talking to everybody doing all kinds of crazy shit and then you talk to somebody and they're like dumbass use a phone book look up the area code and I was like oh my god you gotta be kidding me like that's the most real life solution in the world and that's what this game expects of you and I, I know like Right now, in 2018, guys, that might sound dumb, it might sound mundane, but I'm telling you back then, I was like, this game is fucking amazing. It wants me to use a freaking phone book. <laughs> and there's only one phone book in the game. It's actually at a stand back in Dobuita. Actually, there might be one in our house, too. I, I don't remember anymore. But you can either do that, or if we look in our journal, we have this really helpful number assistance line, <laughs> 104, which I'm pretty sure is actually the only use in the game, is this part right here. So let's use that, give them a call, and maybe they'll help us out. And yes, this is gonna charge me like 10 yen, I think. Whatever. One, zero, Hello, 104 directory information. I'd like for you to tell me the address of phone number 61564. I am terribly sorry, but it's not possible to look up an address from a telephone number. Wait, what? Oh, um, area. Can you at least tell me the area it's in? I can look up the locality using the area code. Even that will help. Yes. 61 is the area code for Amihama. Amihama? Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, right, right. That's how we do it. So guys, now we know the area code 61 is for Amihama. Very, very useful to know. Now we gotta figure out how the hell we're gonna get to Amihama. <laughs> and this is uh this is about to open up a little bit the whole scope of this game let's talk to some people and see if we can't figure out how a guy like me can get to Amihama what up water dragon bro Akasaka san hi Rio where's Amihama what the harbor ain't it what about Amihama never mind what, what, what he knows? Talk to him. About Amihama? The new Yokosuka Harbor? What about Amihama? Never mind. I don't understand that at all. That guy clearly knows the place I'm talking about, but I won't, like, talk to him and get the info. Whatever. I bet you Nozomi knows. Nozomi? Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Or not? Nozomi? Ryo? Take care of yourself. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Let's try Tom. If Nozomi and Tom both fail, that's when you're in trouble. But typically between the two of them, one of them will get you where you need to go. Tom. Hi, Ryo. Can you tell me the way to Amihama? Sure. The harbor, right? Take a bus from the main street straight down there. I see. Thanks. Nice. Take a bus from the main street right down here? Could he be talking about these buses right here? 
that aren't actually here right now. But they come around here. I think every 15 minutes in game time? Oh, here's that other stand that I was talking about, guys. There's another payphone right here and this phone book that we could use if we wanted to. We don't need to anymore, but that's where it is if you want to do it that way. <laughs> oh, she's like, fuck off, bitch, I'm closed. Yeah, so here's the bus. We can actually take this to Amihama now. But I gotta tell you guys, I'm actually not going to do that right now. It's a little late in the day. I'd kind of like to just go in and get a fresh start tomorrow. Take the bus bright and early first thing in the morning. And uh, start exploring Amihama from there. No, thank you. <laughs> the other reason I'm not going to take the bus right now, guys, is because there's one more event that we can do here, and we can only do it tonight, and I don't want to miss it. So I'm just going to practice for a little bit until it gets dark. I'm just going to practice for a little bit until it gets dark. I'm just going to practice for a little bit until it gets dark. I'm just going to go fuck myself until it gets dark. I don't know why I have to do this like five times. Oh my god. It's going to get dark. Just waiting around trying to trigger this. It looks like I can practice here. Hey. I think I'll warm up a bit. Let's get sweaty. Let's get sweaty, guys. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Okay, what moves do I want to focus on now? Let's see what it shows my levels to be. Double blow. Ooh, double blow is up there, guys. Look at it. Okay, so I don't think the form is going to change very much from here on out. But it should be pretty strong. How about Brutal Tiger? Yeah, Brutal Tiger's up there, too. It's turning me around again? It's turning me around again. Oh, fuck. Fuck everything. Fuck everything. Oh, I can't believe this. this sucks. Why is this happening to me, guys? Will somebody tell me why this is happening? <laughs> you know, I can deal with most of the bugs in this release, in this version of the game. I'm kind of like, whatever. You know, it's... I understand the situation. Very complex game. Being rewritten for modern consoles. Budget title. It is what it is. But I need to be able to keep... My move levels, guys. I need that. There's no point to training if you don't get to keep the training that you do. And the thing is, the bar is up there now. Like, it looks like it's more than halfway. So, this move should stay good. But it keeps reverting back. Oh, man, that sucks. I really hope there's a patch incoming. There's already been one... Uh, not a balance patch. There's already been one patch for this game. And it did fix some things, but I guess it didn't fix the move leveling. <laughs> if anybody's watching this in the far-flung future, hopefully... Hopefully it's all ironed out by then. Hey, what up, Ari? Eddie. What? Dio? What? Hey. Oh, yeah. Dio? Huh? Hey. I bought a new camera the other day. It's the kind you don't have to take to the shop to get the film developed. That's cool. You only have to aim and shoot, and then the photo comes out. I'll take a picture of you and Nozomi with it sometime. No, that's okay. Sure it is. And you'd better cooperate. Is that a threat? Hey. What? Do you know where Amihama is? <laughs> oh? You going to the harbor? Hey, why don't you take Nozomi with you? The seaside is so romantic. Well... What do you mean, well? What is with you? Pay more attention to Nozomi. But, but, bloodthirsty quest for vengeance. Hey. Stop pestering me. So why are you here talking to me? Go and talk to Nozomi. You're right. <laughs> Zobi won't be pleased to hear that I'm macking on all her friends. <laughs> no, no, you're right. Let's let's get out of here. Oh, this is fun. So if somebody's walking up these stairs here, you have to wait until they're all the way up before they'll let you start doing it. It's like a 
It's like a collision if you try and go up at the same time. Not good, guys. Not good. Let's see if I can get this to trigger. Yep, here we go. What up, turds? Hey, Azuki, come on over here. It's you guys again. Why won't you drop it? Think you're too good for us, eh? I have nothing to say to you guys. Think you can run away? The only place you're going is to the hospital. Whoa, that was quick. Sit down, bitch. Break your arm. Oh, I'm surrounded. I'm so surrounded. Oh. Okay. Trying to do a mud spider. Man, oh, yeah. fucking back off. <laughs> oh, he... I was doing it and he fucking... He sawed it off, guys. That sucked. Alright, just you. Big fat bitch. Oof. Actually gotta be careful here. I'm taking some damage. No, don't hit me with that. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. That hurt big time. All right, I gotta actually try here. Can't just be trying to do all my cool moves. <laughs> Damn, not again. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't have time to fool around. Okay, okay, we're sorry. Let go. Uh, 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 Don't ever come near me again. All right, all, all right, I, I got it. <laughs> yeah, always remember, I wasn't even trying there. I could whoop your ass a lot harder. So that's, uh, I believe that's the final battle with Inaki, guys. That's a fight that pretty much everybody misses the first time around because you can only get it, like, on today before you actually go to Amihama. And you can only get it by going back to that spot in the apartments back there where nobody ever goes, because why would you? There's nothing back there, and literally the only reason to go back there is to get that cutscene, but it only happens at a very specific time. I love these. So, it's weird. I should buy one. Maybe now that we've kicked his ass, maybe now he'll start showing up by the kitten. I'm not sure how that all works. I've said it before, I'll say it again, guys. This game is, uh, complicated when it comes to that stuff. Hey, what's this? Oh, is that, uh, SBO, I think is his name? Yeah. Cool character, I like him. Maybe I should get another. Nah. Changed my mind. I'm good on spending money for today. We packed a lot of stuff into today, guys. You know what, though? I've had so many fights. I've been through so much today. I am a little thirsty. I think I'll get a cold, refreshing beverage. You know what? I feel like, uh, I feel like a little jet soda today. Not a winner this time. Can't win them all, guys. I already got two in this game, which is kind of a lot, if I remember correctly. I don't remember winning a winning can all that frequently before. Ooh. Ah, good. Ah, that's better. Now, I think it's time to retire. We're going to go home, get a good night's sleep, and we're going to explore a new area tomorrow, guys. Guys, I'm not going to spoil anything, but this place we're going to is a really cool place. Pretty much my favorite area in this entire game. It makes me happy when I'm there. I just love it to pieces. I'm so excited. I can't lie and say that uh, 
some of the complaints lodged against this game aren't valid, guys. There's, you know, there's downtime. If you're not into some of the side quests and stuff, it can be difficult to pass the time occasionally. But the good news is we've got a lot of that behind us. I mean, not all of it. There will still be some waiting and some downtime, but by and large, we are getting into the meat of this game now. And it's so cool. You know what? It's pretty early. I should probably call Nozomi, seeing as how... Oh? Hello? Ryo. Nozomi, what's up? I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? Yeah. At Sakura Gaoka Park? I'll be waiting. Alright. Wow, I was just about to call her. It's almost like we're soulmates, guys. Ryo. Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having... Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. I used to be a dude. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... Can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi. It's about my feelings for you, but... If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to... Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon? I don't know when, but... I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I... I don't really know how I feel. I understand. When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry I called you out. Nozomi? Don't forget to say goodbye. <clears throat> See you. <laughs> the sparks, they are a flying, guys. We almost had something resembling a heart to heart right there. Crazy, I know. <laughs> oh, man. What an action packed day. And I'll tell you what, guys. When we wake up tomorrow, we're going to be exploring Amihama and get to the bottom of this mystery of who killed our dad. Maybe. Eventually. We'll get there. <laughs> Uh, thanks as always for watching, guys. I'm going to save my game and go to sleep. And I'll see you all in the morning. Take care.